I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna digress. There is a way to get revenge on women. Every time any, I've heard anyone say, oh, my ex broke up with me, she cheated on me, I need revenge, I need revenge. That's, that's, that's sick minded, that's, that's right. incel level shit. The only kind of revenge that you can get on a woman is this. Ever. Say goodbye politely, mm -hmm. keep working hard, increase your value as a man, wait three years, four years, six years, yep. 11 yep. years, yep. and wait till you are the man. And yep. she's just now some chick, 28, 29. Yeah. And she's like, Tristan, you know, it should have always been you. Then you can either tell her no or break her heart again. Yep. But the thing is, the sad part is, it's five years of work. Yeah. At least. At least five years of work. And nobody wants to do the work. Mm -hmm. It's like getting into shape, as I'm sure you know. It's, you know, when guys are, you know, fat and they're like, oh, well, you get women because you're in shape. It's like, well, you could be in shape, but it's for you, it's two years. It's three years, you know? Are you willing to do that? The same mm -hmm. is with your finances, the same with your mindset, the same with lots of things. So, yeah, if you do the work, the women do naturally come to you, but it's years of work and everyone wants a quick fix nowadays. Yeah. Everyone wants a magic pill or a magic spell or a magic trick and there, there are none. Well, I think a lot of it has to come down with, I mean, success with women is much like success in business or success in sports. It's down to you. It's personal accountability. And that's what a lot of guys want to throw out the window these days. And what they want to do is they want to blame women. Right. It's like uh, failing in every business you've ever attempted and failing to make money and then blaming the cap industry. Bra yeah, blaming yeah, yeah, capitalism yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or failing in, uh, failing in uh, every boxing match or every American football game and NFL right. game you've ever played and blaming the referees or right. blaming the rules. No, uh, it's personal accountability and it's personal responsibility. And when you see guys out there who say like all women are garbage, I believe them. Because I believe all the women they get to meet are garbage. Right. Because they're bottom feeders. They're low tier right. men and they're, they're attracting low tier women. And low-tier people of all sorts attract each other. Low-tier men have low-tier male friends. They get low-tier girlfriends. And I believe the women they meet are garbage. Right. They don't get to operate at my level, and they don't get to see how wonderful women truly are. Because right. I'm picking the fruit at the top of the tree. Right. So I think a lot of these guys need to really, really look in the mirror, as I do. Right. And sometimes I look at myself and think, Tristan, okay, you're a little out of shape. Tristan, okay, uh, you know, you've been, you've been sleeping too much, you've been, you've been partying too hard, you've got bags under your eyes, you've been, you know, you're letting yourself go a bit, right. and you have to keep yourself in check. You have to right. stay at the very top, and if you don't stay at your very top, you're not competitive anymore. Every single species on the whole planet is exactly the same. Every single female of every single species look at the, looks at the most competitive males right. and thinks, those are the ones I want to have my children. And women, human women, <laughs> are exactly yeah. the same. So if you're not having the success with women that you want, don't go out there trying to blame women and don't go out there trying to change women. Right. I mean, the six foot four thing, fine. I would have been tall regardless. Right. I would have been six foot four. But if I was a really skinny dude who you know, had no money, sat at home playing the right. Xbox, you know, I'd have no receipts on social media. No one would know who I was. You know, I'd probably have a patchy beard because of low testosterone because I've never done any training in my life. That guy's not getting laid. 6'4 right. or no 6'4. There are lots of situations in life where your hands are tied. So, okay, you can let this destroy you, which is an option. And people do this all the time. Drink themselves to death. I don't know, start cutting themselves. Whatever stuff people do to cope with difficult situations. Or... You can be sad anyway, because you're sad either way, mm -hmm. and work 18 hours a day. You can work 18 hours a day, not let anything distract you, and stay focused on the mission, so that way you have less time to think about it, and you can be sad while you're working. And then, you know, when you start to come to terms with everything, you've got millions of dollars, as opposed to, oh, I've come to terms with everything, but I'm in a rehab clinic. So I think that bad things are going to happen to your life, and everyone watching, this is the sad truth of it. So I didn't really see why it was difficult. As much as it was unpleasant, I don't think it was difficult because there isn't a way out of it. So that's the best way I can describe it. Mm. You could be a sad winner or a sad loser. So go and win every day. So yeah, so it's not just that it's getting harder to be the man, it's getting harder to be not the man because you don't even have the safety net of being able to pay $100 to sleep with a beautiful woman. Yeah. So yeah, it really, really sucks to be uh, most people in the world right now. But it is better to be a, a high value man. And mine and my brother's message of saying, you know, improve yourself, get smarter, get fitter, get stronger, um, dress better, drive a nicer car, earn more money. When I'm saying that to young men, it's because I feel that that is now necessary in this world to live a really great life. You can, live, you can live a life worth living without some of those things, but to live a really great life, you 
really do need it.